Hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. I've got my blue gloves on, and it's time to look at some trading cards. Uh, before we dig into this uh, wonderful looking box here, though, I want to cycle through my uh, cards of the day. Uh, as you know, our top card right now is still this uh, Space Penguins MetaZoo Gold Refractor. Numbered to 50, wonderful card. We haven't pulled anything better than that yet. Our old second place card was this uh, just gorgeous SSR from a Little Frog uh, bootleg anime multiverse set called Fire Legends. Uh, it's a pretty cool set, lots of great cards, but it is bootleg, so you know, be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, a beautiful looking uh, SSR here, but I'm retiring that card because we just pulled this excellent Judy Hops SSR from a box of card on Zootopia. So this box. Uh, so I finally looked at all my Disney cards for cards and coffee, and this was probably the best card we pulled from there. As you see, it's got a lot of great tech on it, and uh, it just generally looks really good. Also uh, has a nice close-up of her butt. For some, I'm, I mean, I know why, but still, to, why? God. Come on, people, we don't need to be doing that. But anyway, uh, this is definitely my uh, my favorite card. I actually really love the little zebra pattern on the back of this, too. It's very cool. So anyway, this will be second place for now. So that's first, that's second. Uh, but as you can see from the title, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to unbox and pack break an Ultraman 5UM box by Caillou. And this is sort of Caillou's bread and butter. So before they made Hero Battle, before they got Transformers, before they got My Little Pony, before they got all these other properties, Ultraman was how they started. And Ultraman is still probably their biggest uh, property, at least from what I've seen of pictures of the stores. They usually have just stacks and walls of this kind of product and then like a little bit of everything else, right? Uh, so this one's, it's, this is definitely their main thing. Uh, Ultraman is a, a, a Japanese television show running a very long time. Not as long as Kamen Rider, but almost as long. And it's another one of those, uh, you know, it's it's kind of like reductive to say that it's a Power Rangers precursor, but that's honestly the closest thing I can ex help, help you understand what it is. Uh, but I invite you to go watch some trailers. <laughs> it's pretty uh, pretty wild show. Uh, but it's it's for children, of course. But uh, anyway, the cards are great. Um, so these are uh, Kayo cards. Now, I don't know exactly which one this is. There are a lot of these sets, and I just kind of bought the cheapest one at that I could find at random, as we do here in the archives. Uh, I don't think I paid more than $10, $10 for this, probably, uh, even though it is a 5 UN uh, box. And uh, it's going to have 20 packs in it, and each pack is going to have eight cards. But I assume there will be some sort of redemption, so it's probably going to be like seven real cards. Uh, and then over here, uh, you've got kind of a listing of the the set, but it's uh, <laughs> not something I can read for you right now. So I'll translate that when we do the review. This This box has a lot of... Kind of security stickers on it although i don't know if you can see but this one has been broken already so do you see those black lines that's what happens when a security sticker is removed and then put back so the vendor who gave me this probably took the promo out of it if there was a promo uh, or if there's no promo they weighed packs and took the good packs uh, and then try to seal it back up. But those stickers kind of fall apart when they get removed, and that's why those black lines are there. Yeah, so this has definitely been opened already, um, but that doesn't doesn't matter too much here because again, we got it really cheap, and uh, we're not too interested in uh, reselling or anything like that. So we're just happy with what we get. It's a beautiful box. I love the purple color. I love the way the rainbow. <laughs> Uh, foil moves like that in the refract. I'm not really sure how they did that. I'm talking about this like circle here, but really cool effect. Uh, and then I'll give you a close up of the label before we cut it open so you can uh, see all of this. Uh, it is a, a Kayo product, so this is officially licensed, all that. Uh, this definitely officially licensed. 
And you can see from the odds listing here that it's actually a fairly generous set. Like only nine of the packs in here are going to be seven rares and one SR. And 11 of them are going to be seven rares and an SSR, a UR, a USR, or an AR. So those higher rarity cards. And I'm guessing this is actually some kind of character list now, not a set list. Sorry, I was probably wrong about that. But again, I shouldn't guess because I, I haven't translated anything on this yet. Okay, but let's get it opened and pick a pack to rip today. We're just going to open one pack. Unless there's a hit, then we'll open two. But given the way the security sticker looks, I'm guessing there's not going to be anything in here other than the packs. And this box, I always say that, like, I still have things in the archives from the very first order that haven't been opened yet. This is one of them. <laughs> so this has been sitting in the archives since January and opened until today. But there it is, opened up now. So you can see it's one of those typical like retail display boxes. You would put it like this and you would and punch, you'd punch this out and it would stick up. But anyway, I'm not going to do all that. But then you'd put it on your shelf. Uh, and this is something that like these are in grocery stores. They're in drug. They're in every single store, hardware store. Any store you go into China is probably going to have one of these in it somewhere. <laughs> Just, uh, it's literally that popular. Although I personally don't know a whole lot about the Ultraman franchise, if that wasn't obvious from that intro. So I, I can't really help you too much with understanding what these are. Uh, but let's go ahead and just count them out. Uh, so it's weird, there's like a weird distortion on the side of each of these. I wonder if they were resealed. Gosh, that would be crazy. I don't think there's a secondary market for these, but somebody went through a lot of trouble here. Okay, anyway, there's five. Uh, there's five more. Five more and five more. So yeah, 20. Let's take a close look at this one because it, it has all the markings of it. Uh, let's just take a look at that. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe that's just the way the packs work here. But okay, we've got to get one of these open. So let's put... Uh, Let's say we put four down on the table. We usually do three, but let's, let's put four in here. Make the universe fit. So we'll do these ones and I'll that one. Again, okay, we're going to get eight cards in this pack. And from the odds on the back, it looks like they are all going to be real cards. They're not going to be re redemption things, so that'll be cool. But seven of them will be base rare cards, which that kind of stinks for a 5 UN box, you would expect to maybe get like six rares and SR and then something else at the 5 UN level. But again, this is Kaio's sort of bread and butter product. So they're probably trying to milk it for all they can. And that's why you're getting all the rares. Uh, okay, so uh, we've got four packs on the table. I've got random.org up that lets me roll a dice with any number of uh, faces I want. I'm going to roll one through four. We're going to roll three times and take the third result. This is one, two, three, and four. Here we go. Four, three, and four again. So four is going to be our back of the day, so to speak. <laughs> I'll close this up, and that will go back in the archives for another day. I don't know. Maybe we'll do Cayman uh, Rider versus Ultraman uh, pack battle or something. That might be fun. They are... <laughs> They're not really similar shows, but they have similar production uh, aspects, like costumes and monsters and things. Uh, I think they even uh, sometimes use uh, the same uh, monster costumes in both of these shows, so uh, there definitely are similarities. Let's take a look at the back before we uh, dig too much in. And like I said before, I don't really know what set number this is like uh you know in, in naruto terms i don't know what wave it is right this uh scf 018 i just don't understand how to decipher that so i don't know what what wave it is but this is another one where there just are countless boxes 
you can get all sorts of different levels up to 10 probably even higher there's anniversary boxes i've seen like you know 500 dollar boxes of this where it's just like a couple of really special cards so yeah big big time thing in china but you know, not not so popular here i guess okay so here's our cards and uh where's my sleeves let me get my sleeves out there we go I'll put those down over there and uh yeah let's take a look at them so here we go We've got a monster that is wild so the background says ultraman with a really interesting pattern to it uh, is there anything up at the top there is it just black? i think it's just black it's a rare and yeah this is ultraman weird looking monsters just like uh, power rangers had and this is part of some sort of game system, but it's not a hidden information system, obviously, because the back tells you what it is. So it's not like Hero Battle, but it's something like that. Uh, and uh, someday I'll find the rules and, and translate it and all that. But for now, just enjoy that wackiness. And like that's a pretty advanced treatment for a base rare card. But again, this is Kaio's sort of bread and butter set. So. I'm not too surprised to see that here. Oh, and they were getting in a different color too. Wow. So they are going all out on these cards. Uh, I'm honestly really impressed uh, with the treatment on those. You know, even though I'm now now know I'm gonna get seven of these rares, they look awesome, so I'm not not too sad about it. It looks like we're gonna get one of the good uh, characters now. So this is one of the Ultramen. It doesn't say in English. No. Okay. So, yeah, this, uh, I don't know which one it is, but there's multiple of them. And, uh, yeah, looks cool again with a slightly different color than all those. This one's got kind of a purple tint to it. You know, I love purple, so it currently would be my favorite card. Although we're not doing it in any kind of battle here. Yeah, look how good those look. Impressive. Now, that's a, that's a scary looking thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm terrified. And now I have a new uh, new thing to be afraid of at night for nightmares. So there you go. Uh, that is what's going to visit you tonight after you go to sleep and kind of just, you know, hang its head over your bed. Maybe its face will be like two inches away from yours, breathing on you. So I don't mean to scare you. But yeah, it is a... Uh, that is a terrifying looking thing. Um, ah, this is a little kid's show. Okay, well, horrifying. Uh, what do we got next here? Something with very large horns? Ooh, what is this? It's an SR. Okay, so this must be the hit of the pack. And since we got an SR, we know this will be one of the low packs. So there were nine low packs and 11 high packs. Uh, this is one of the low. But man, that pattern in the background is just epic. Why don't they use this tech on Hero Battle? I guess they're reserving it for Ultraman, but wow. Could you imagine like a Hero Battle card with that sort of a crazy pattern on it? I don't know what it would work for, but maybe... Yeah, I don't know. That is... Wow, that's a great looking card. Again. And then I assume we're just going to see more rares here, but that's okay. Uh, so there's another monster. There's a lot of monsters to fight in Ultraman world. You know, those kids shows, they just kind of beat up rubber monsters over and over. That's sort of how the shows work. And learn an important lesson. <laughs> okay, one more. I think this is a dupe, actually. Uh, so we're getting a dupe already. Sad to see at the 5 UN level, single pack dupe, and it looks like maybe double single pack dupe, uh, but not that uncommon. Although this is, uh, this is Caillou and not Ultra, uh, Cayman, so it's a little sad to see that, but it must not be a very large set if we're getting this many dupes in a single pack. So there is a pack of Ultraman 5UM for you. Uh, seven rares, one terrifying, two dupes, and one SR. 
great looking cards. I'm honestly pretty impressed. I hope you are too. Although I don't think I'm going to invest any more in this because, uh, yeah, it just, I don't, this is not a good value set. You're going to spend a lot of money on this. I don't want to do that. So uh, we're, just, we're just going to let this be the one box we have. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll talk to you soon.